coming up. Uh, how you guys approach that? I mean, we always underdog. You know? uh, everyone wants to count us out, and that's okay, you know, because we love being an underdog. That's what we live for, you know, that's what we do, and uh, it's going to make us work harder. So. Three sacks and five TFLs on Saturday. What uh, Do you feel like you kind of had to step up with Quiddy out? Um, it's just every game. Every game, everyone's got to step up. You know, I, you know, Quiddy was down, so, you know, we had to pick up the slack for everything, you know, so it was just it's really just executing, you know, doing our jobs and, you know, just doing what was asked of us, so. Jim said there was a bounce in the step. Shenbeckler, the uh, past couple of days, what have you seen in that regard? I mean, yeah, I mean, we, you know, you guys were saying we can't stop the run and we're soft and this and that, and, you know, that's just, you know, we've kind of framed that in our minds, you know, and that's given us a lot of motivation to work hard, and it's just, you know, that underdog mentality, you know, it's really like giving us a new, new flame, so. Who said you can't stop the run? You guys said. Well, the Wisconsin game, though, that was, I think, the I mean, that's what y'all, you know, that's what y'all was claiming, you know what I'm saying? You know, I understand y'all not in the coach's office and not watching film how we watch film, you know, so uh, it's, I understand why you guys would feel that way. But, um, yeah, that, I mean, that just gave us some motivation, you know, to execute and, and do our job to a high level, so. So what's what did we overlook there? What was the difference since then? Um, executing. Like I said, you know, before when I talked to you guys, it comes down to execution, doing our job to a, at a high level, and just, you know, focusing on the little things and the small details and, you know, uh, executing our preparation at an extremely high level, so. But what are some of those small details that you're talking about right now? Practice, you know, um, just practicing extremely hard and focusing on the details, just the small things, you know, like just whatever the coaches tell us, you know, just, you know, maximizing the focus on it, you know, to a high level, so. After the Illinois game, Cam McGrone was saying that the reason why their offense was able to have some success was because you guys kind of stopped executing for a few moments. How does that type of thing happen, and how do you get back on track? Um, I feel like it's just more of a, a rhythm thing. Just the more plays you get into, then the more plays you get, the more comfortable you get, and then you get back into your routine. You know, so I feel like maybe we came out and um, it took some time to get back into our rhythm. You know, kind of some things threw us off schedule a little bit, but. You know, as we got back into our routine, you know, we got uh, more comfortable. So, do you when, remember the when first you, time you looked at this schedule? Um, you know, whether it was last summer or winter, and you looked ahead at the, at the full schedule and saw this close of uh, games you have coming up. Just what your reaction was? Well, yeah, I was excited. You know, this is big time now. You know, prime time television. We got a chance to be legendary, like I said before. You know, and we just got to do our thing, do our jobs, and execute. And you know, the rest will take care of itself. So. Josh, if you wouldn't mind, when we or, or fans, you know, point out things you guys aren't doing well, like even specific plays, what, what is kind of the reaction among, among the players? I mean, this is kind of funny because it's like, this is like what we, this is what we live, you know, breathe, and this is what we do. And I understand you guys follow it too, so you guys do do the same, you know, a lot of dedication, you know, but it's like, you guys, sometimes fans don't see everything, they don't understand the schematics of everything, and they don't understand what was happening there so it's like they'll be on the total opposite side of the spectrum as to knowing what was going on and it's it's kind of funny but it's kind of it can be annoying but you know it is what it is I can I can understand it you know everyone's not everyone is like a football coach a foot like you know 15 year vet in the game you know that knows everything so it's, it's understandable so even if someone was I mean are there just certain things you can't an outsider can't know not being in practice yeah yeah, there's certain, yeah, you guys wouldn't, there's no way for you guys to know. So that's why it's like understandable, you know, that there's some, you know, misconceptions and things like that. Because, you know, it's only things that we can know and we can't let you guys know because the game plan would be ruined, you know, so, yeah. As much as you can talk about specifics there, I mean, is, is there an example you can think of from uh, from a game earlier this year that, that maybe we all got wrong? No, nah, I ain't no examples. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> what was the criticism, just looking at the Wisconsin game, was the criticism in that game fair, or do you think people were missing something? Was there another reason that all those <laughs> yards and points happened? Yeah, y'all was missing some stuff there, you know, I will say, you know, but <clears throat> it is what it is, you know, it, it gave us new life, you know what I'm saying? Like, it gave us a new flame, gave us new motivation. You know, uh, and we needed that, to be quite frank with you. We needed that motivation, and we thank you guys for that, you know. Um, so, yeah. What's the difference between the Penn State team we saw last year and what they're doing this year offensively? 
Have you seen enough of them for the same? Um, I've watched them. I mean, they don't have Miles Sanders anymore. So, I mean, I feel like they're trying to uh, spread the ball around a lot more. Get it to their uh, playmakers, KJ Hamler, and, you know, they're just, yeah, they're trying to get the ball more around. They don't, I, I don't know if they have that. I think KJ Hamler is their, their X factor on offense, you know, just from the little I've watched so far. And um, their quarterback's doing a good job of, you know, executing the plays at a high level. And um, their offense is just clicking right now, so. Did you make the trip there two years ago? I did. What do you remember about uh, being in Happy Valley at night? It was loud. You know, some fans was cussing and, you know, being disrespectful and, you know what I'm saying? And I like that ki that kind of thing. You know, that's my thing. You know, I like that, you know, hostile environment. You know, it gets my adrenaline going. So I can't wait to get back up there and get that nasty taste out of my, my mouth uh, two years ago, you know, when they beat us. So, yeah. What goes through your head when you get a sack? Uh, I mean, sometimes I'm like hype, you know, sometimes I'm like, you know, real emotional. Sometimes I'm just like, oh, I made a sack, you know, and then back and on to the next play, you know. So it all depends, you know, on the moment and the situation and how I'm feeling, but it could go either way, so. What makes winning on the road hard and, and what do you do as players to try to overcome that? Uh, I, I would say, I, I couldn't say one particular thing that makes winning on the road hard. I'd say maybe it's just you're not you're not where where you're used to being. Like you know, we're not you're not used to your same routine. You know, waking up in the hotel, then you know being able to come here, be in your locker. You know, your hot tub routine, whatever. So maybe just you know a, a, a change of routine. Maybe what's you know different change of atmosphere and environment is what kind of throws you off a little bit. You know, but um, yeah, I would say just those combination of things. Maybe. Josh, you got time for a couple more? You didn't play much your first year. Is there any possibility you come back for another year after this? Has there hasn't even been approached at all that discussion? Uh, I, I really don't know just because I played in four games my yep. freshman year. Right. So I don't know how that rule works necessarily. I don't know if it's uh, retroactive right. or anything like that. So, I mean, um, that's just something I'm going to have to revisit, you know, at the end of the season. So, Knowing that one more loss in the Big Ten could probably pull off your, your, your dreams of goal this year. Is that, I mean, do you think about that going into this game on Saturday? No. I don't know. You know, Is this the, type of the role that you expect to be in from your freshman year to now? Like when you were a senior, is this kind of where you expected to be? Uh, I've always believed in my, my, personally, my own talents. I've always, you know, felt like I was the best at anything I did, you know, so I always envisioned myself having success and being successful. So. You know, yeah, like honestly, as soon as I, I set foot on this campus, I imagine myself having success, you know, so, you know, if you don't believe in yourself, who else will? So, you know, I, I believe in myself more than anybody. So. With the kind of aggressive defense you guys play, how important is assignment football, especially not trying to do too much in your given position and just kind of playing within the parameters of the defense? Execution, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what it comes down to. You got to execute. You got, you know, 10 other guys depending on you to do your job and do it do it to a high level, you know, because if you don't, then you're letting those guys down and you can't do that. You know, those are your brothers and they all depending on you, so. You mentioned right, legendary. Last question. All right, up you here. mentioned legendary, these next six, six games. You can, is that the conversation you guys have maybe as a defense? That is what you can prove in these next six? I mean, I would say in terms of that, that's what I tell myself. In terms of uh, as a team, you know, it's just more executing. Do we execute, there's nobody in the country better than us. And that's a fact, you know, we execute and do our jobs, do uh, what the coaches ask of us, execute our game plans. So I don't feel like there's anyone in the country that's touching us. So um, that's, that's for the legendary part. That's what I tell myself in my brain, you know, that's, I get, that's how I get myself hyped, you know, but uh, yeah. You're talking offense, you're talking entire team or defense? Uh, I'd say in t you know, being on the defensive side, I, I'm necessarily speaking for the you know defensive side of the ball, but I'd say the whole team has that approach as well. So. All right, guys.